back again. Now what we've got today, obviously we're all in this self-isolation and the cars are not getting used very much. Batteries are running low, even running flat. We've not been using this one a great deal. Batteries ran low, so I'm gonna show you all about the maintainer, the charger, how to charge your battery if it's gone completely flat. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the charger that I'm using, or one very similar. Cracking bit of kit, nice and cheap, but it does a really good job. Not one of these great big things that you used to buy. This technology now, it's all moved on. So for a reasonable amount of money, you can get a decent charger. Let's crack on, let's show you what's going on. So on this one series, in the boot, is where the battery is. So I've got the extension cable coming in. And under this cover in the boot is where you find your battery. Um, I'll just see if I can prop that up with that for now. Let's have a little look. Right then. So I've got the charger here and uh, we've got the battery with all this gubbins on it here, all this associated stuff. Now we're not really too, we're not too fussy. It looks worse than it is. All we need to do is find the positive feed. So we can either just lift the little tab up here, which leads us to the battery positive terminal there. Or we've got these two big bolts at the back here. We can connect up to one of those. They all link in to this, which is just one giant positive breaker. Um, so it's like a link board. We've got a few connecting stuff there. We don't need to be interested in any of that. All we're interested in is the negative side of the battery and the positive side of the battery. Like I say. So what I've got is this battery maintainer here. This literally plugs into the mains. Um, 240 volt feed. It goes across with a negative and a positive you can actually leave this connected all the time day and night permanently so once it has charged the battery it will drop down and it will turn into a really really small trickle charge just to a maintainer level which will just keep the keep the battery tip top right up to you know fully fully charged so these are really great for bringing a battery back to life but also if you've got like a um, kit car or a classic car that you don't use at all and it sits in the garage for months on end without going out if you connect one of these up to it it will never get dead and it'll always be ready for you when you need it you can actually hardwire it in using it's got this little connector plug here it disconnects off that and you've got a different end on it I'll show you that in a minute so this is a close-up of this wire you just get two ring connectors a little fusible link. And then it clips into that. And obviously leaving this on the car, so when it's not in use, you just put the little blank over the end of it there, keep the, uh, well, save any issues. And that's it. It's a really good bit of kit. So what do you get for your money? You get the little charger gizmo there with the plug on the end of it, and then it comes in to your positive and your negative terminal. You can't do any damage with this one, it's it's really fail safe. Like I was saying, in the packet, you get this fusible link, which, it's got a little connector there, we pull that out the end there, and that, whereas these, the wires with the crocodile clips on them are there, we can now connect this into there. And you can actually hardwire this, like I say, to the battery or a positive terminal on the car. So you've got negative, positive. It's through a fusible link. And the idea of that is you can actually have it at a point that's poking out the boot, say. Because this is in the back. If this car was a, a classic and I was never going to use it, I would bolt these two wires to the battery, to the negative, positive and negative terminals, and I would leave this hanging out somewhere out the boot cabinet. Um, and when I want to just park it up and leave it in the garage, I'd pull this out the boot, shut the boot down on the wire with it hanging out, connect that into the charger, connect that into the charger, plug that in the wall and leave it in the garage. You just leave it on all the time, day and night, and it just say, keep this tip top ready for use. How do we connect this up then? Let's just go through it. We want on this occasion the crocodile clips. So we literally connect that up to the charger. We lift up the thing there and then we'll come on in here again we then connect up negative straight to the battery terminal and on this one like I say we can either lift the tab and connect it up to the battery terminal there 
or we could go to one of these auxiliaries over the side, but that's fine. We're now connected up. We've got his mains, plug that in. Gives us a little beep and tells us it's ready, to, ready for action. You can use this on motorbikes as well. We've got 12 volt, 6 volt and start. So you flick between 12 or 6 volts using that. We're on 12 volts, it's a car. We just press start and away you go. And on there, we've got charging full. And it will just continue to run. And that's it, it's there. Shut the boot down. So we've got the wire charger in. I'm gonna leave that 24 hours, charge this up, get it really up, up to speed. We'll shut that down, it's not too tight, it's not gonna pinch the wire and break it. Um, yeah, we'll let that be, leave it, leave it to charge up. If your battery's stone dead, completely dead, you wanna leave this on for a, you know, a good day, a good 24 hour charge, and it'll bring that up to fully charged. Um, if you just need to get the car going, it's gonna take an hour to get it up to enough power to start it. All you need to remember is to disconnect it before you try and start the car. Don't attempt to start the car with this connected. Um, it won't destroy it, but it won't do it any good. Um, so I've got the box in, we've got some technical specs on it. 21 watt maximum power, one and a half amps RMS. It'll charge pretty much any type of battery. It'll do lead acid, wet acid, sealed, AGM, leisure, gel batteries. So it's covering all bases there. It's got a decent two meter cable on it. Like I say, there's plenty of makes all very, very similar to this. I'll put the links in uh, for a few different ones. You can make your choice. Really good for motorhomes. If you've got a motorhome and again, you don't use it, it just sits on your driveway. You could connect one of these up permanently. It's a real classic that your motorhome's just sat there for a few months, you've not started it up. Or even starting it for a small, you know, do you think you're doing yourself a favor by running it for 10, 15 minutes? Where in effect, if it's a diesel, which most of them are, the battery's hardly getting any power. It's just firing up them glow plugs. They're taking all the power and the battery's not getting hardly anything. So one of these maintainers is a perfect way to keep you, you know, your battery fully topped up, ready for when you want your camper van. If that's been a use to you, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.